gone. So today I got a bunch of host plants to show you guys uh, for butterflies. And I actually raised my own butterflies too, but today I just want to show you a few host plants for butterflies. In the next video, I'll be doing about nectar sources for butterflies. So this is a two-part series of butterflies. So um, yeah, so stay tuned with us and I'll show you some host plants. So hold on a minute. So this is host plant number one. It's called fennel. And yes, butterflies do like herbs too. They also feed off parsley. I do have some of that as well. But this is a host plant for the black tall tail. It's a gorgeous butterfly. And now that we are in butterfly season, you should be seeing them more often down here in South Louisiana. Look how much rain we got. We got tons of rain. But now, like, not the whole yard is flooded. But it's fine. But um, this is the good host plant for the Eastern Black Swallowtail as well as Desert Black Swallowtail and Aster Swallowtail. So they usually lay eggs on the newest growth, which is quite nice, but it, they also eat the older growth once they get older. And um, yeah, so fennel, what are, yeah, it's kind of cool. So it's a cool plant and that's host plant number one. So let's go out in the garden and I'll show you some more. done raining i mean it got done raining boy was i right tons of rain but it's quite nice because i don't have to water for like a week or two so that's kind of fun but um this is next one this is called dudron's pipe vine and also known as woolly dudron's pipe and it's a good host plant for the pipe vine swallowtail if you live more southern like south florida and autumn it's a host plant for the um, golden rim, but they also, they don't feed off this one, it's a more exotic plant down there, which is a, called the uh, Dudgeon's Pipe, which is, has a huge flower, but this one doesn't, it just produces, like, the little pipe, so, I got two of them, because I needed them, and where you guys can find these plants is on Joyful Butterfly, and some other websites I don't know about, oh wait, Shady Oaks is another one, so that's kind of fun, and look at the leaves, they're kind of cute, and this is my older one that went went dormant for winter. Um, it's coming back like a vengeance, which is quite, quite nice. And then this one I just bought recently, like like a few days, like a week ago, I believe it was. So there's that one. Next up is tropical milkweed. This is a host plant for the monarch and um, queen and soldier butterfly. The only reason why I have tropical is because I, uh, I kind of want to attract the queen as well as a soldier. But they do not live here as a soldier butterfly. So I've been trying to get the queen and the monarch most likely. But every fall you will, you will have to cut this guy back. Because it's called a year-round plant. And it will stay year-round. And it's not good if it's staying for winter. But now that's up and going, it's March. So um yeah, I had this guy since late February. So that's their host plant. And you will have to prune it like right about here every fall, like right there, but the, like right there. So that's that. Next up, I'll go show you the passion vine. Hold on a minute. All right, so this is passion vine. It's kind of out of bloom now, but there might be a few more blooms, maybe. See, whenever, oh, I might have one, but the other two are not blooming. This is a host plant for four different butterflies. We only have one type of butterfly here. Well, technically two, but the second one is more rare to find here. It's found in, found in New Orleans. But this is a host plant for the golf fritillary for here. And if you live in Florida, zebra longwing, Julia, and zebra helic and heliconia's family. And if you live in northern states like I do, it's a host plant for the golf for the Larry, but if you live a lot northern than that, then it's a host plant for variegated for the Larry. So that's their host plant. And I got a few more host plants, which are just right over here. How do you like my garden? It's looking gorgeous. And um, so over here we got a centrist tree. This is a host plant for the giant swallowtail, pretty butterfly. It's the biggest butterfly in the United States. Lives all over California, Mexico, and all them places in Florida, all the way up to Central Toronto, Canada, something like that. But to the south tip of Toronto. So this is a orange, love it, a miniature orange, I believe. That's the name. And this guy went 
dormant because all the leaves just went brown because of, of the snow we had, which is quite rare to have here. And it kind of, um, it was kind of rare, but it is rare. We only get snow here once every four to five years. But this is um, lemon, and they lay eggs on the newest growth. It's, the butterfly is a yellow and black butterfly. It's just a gorgeous butterfly. So that's their host plant. Next host plant, and this is, well, wait. They also feed off lemon tree, too. So new growth coming there, too. So this is a tiger, ti uh, this is a host plant for the eastern tiger swallowtail. Really gorgeous butterfly. And it is, they've laid eggs on the newest growth. And this is called a choke cherry or a wild cherry. Not really sure which one it is yet, but I do believe it is a choke cherry, just from the looks of it. And look how gorgeous it is. I love this tree. So awesome. So that's pretty much it. So that's all my host plants for today. Next video will probably be nectar sources. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you like it, please subscribe down below. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye.